McDowell, row four, Bowman, Joey Logano, row five, Ross Chastain, Ty Gibbs, row six, Chase Briscoe, and Kimi Raikkonen now has moved up to the 12th spot as we get set to go into our second overtime of the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix. Ace car dives onto the pit lane. The field will come out of turn 20, that hard left-hand turn, and head down the straightaway toward the Geico restart zone, and hopefully two laps here to settle the issue in the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix. So again, Tyler Reddick inside of William Byron. We've seen this again and again all day long on the restarts as they work their way through the Geico restart zone. The green flag is back out here at Texas, and this field roars back uphill to turn number one. Reddick's restarts have actually been better when he wasn't leading it at turn number one. There again, it is equally as wild as it was the last time. Reddick has got the middle lane, several cars going a mile around. Martin Truex Jr., he's involved with Daniel Suarez as the leaders are off turn two. It looks like Tyler Reddick is maintaining the lead right next to him is uh, William Byron, Kyle Busch just behind him. And look who gets even with, uh, with the Reddick machine as Reddick goes almost all the way on the wrong side of the rumble strips. It is Kyle Busch, but Reddick noses ahead. They are door to door behind them. It's Byron and Bowman that are too wide. Now things start to sort themselves out a little bit as they set up for the left-hander, which is turn number seven. It is Reddick, it is Busch. Then it's Bowman. William Byron is back on the charge. Ross Chastain suddenly enters the fray. Michael McDowell is in the fray as well. Top six now, head toward turn number 10. Kyle Busch threw one heck of a challenge at Tyler Reddick through the S's, but five, six, seven, and eight is where Reddick has been so strong, and he pulls a two-car length advantage gap over Kyle Busch. Busch's main concern is now trying to hold up Alex Bowman, who runs in the third position with his teammate William Byron right behind. Tyler Reddick, though, starting to pull away as A.J. Allmendinger spins at the rear of the field. It's Reddick, your race leader, into turn 12. Hard through the gearbox. Down he goes into turn 12. Here comes Reddick. Hard left-hand corner. Kyle Busch, four car lengths back. Can't get near the bumper of the leader right now. Reddick once again through 13. Nice and smooth. Gathers his car back up. First gear over 14. Down into 15. Here comes the leader. Tyler Reddick makes that hard left-hand corner. No challenge from behind as they head to the bridge. Coming underneath the Echo Park Automotive Bridge, the one thing Tyler Reddick needs to see is the white flag. That would mean he could drive away if something happens on the final lap. Right now, Tyler Reddick about 10 car lengths ahead of Kyle Bush but they are bumper to bumper with Alex Bowman. Caution is out. We are going to have another overtime restart here at Circuit of the Americas. Saw several cars spinning back in the pack, and there is a carcass of a tire out on the race course. That's what precipitated this latest caution and has brought us under the yellow flag once again. Kimi Raikkonen spun. Christopher Bell spun. Fun. Michael McDowell got turned around as things got wild. And again, <laughs> Tyler Reddick staring at the checkered flag, thinking this is it. He was about to take the white flag, which would have ended this race no matter what happened. And guess what? We're going to overtime number three in the Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix. Uh, the cautions have flown frequently here at the end of this race. We had one at lap 56, a caution for Ross Chastain stalling out at the top of the hill on lap 59, debris on the racetrack on lap 64, more debris that came off of Ryan Blaney's car on lap 67, and now debris on the racetrack at lap 71. So cue them up again and let